simply put, I had an issue with our del my delivery charge, or I'm sorry, my delivery um, here. It was not given to me at the time frame at which it was supposed to be. Um, went through a long, uh, tedious process. Uh, I was supposed to receive my furniture, did not receive my furniture, had to go to customer care. Customer care didn't do anything. I had to go public with it, let somebody know what happened, and here I am. Simply, um, you know, I, I, and just to make this perfectly clear, I have never had an issue with City Furniture, the salespeople uh, in Fort Myers. They've been nothing but, you know, very classy, very uh, helpful to me. Um, so I just want to make sure that that part is separate from the part of which the delivery team uh, is uh, is the issue, along with the uh, customer care department. Um, I had received a call. Uh, they give you a window. It's like almost like a cable company, if you will. Uh, they give you a three hour window when they're going to come and uh, deliver your furniture. They uh, sent me a uh, link or I'm sorry, a, a text. Um, on my phone stating that uh, they would have it um, between 12 and three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, well, I was, I was going to be here at 12 to deliver the, or to receive the delivery. Obviously uh, I was getting off work around 1130. Um, I get a call at nine 57 in the morning while I'm at work and the delivery team says to me, they're here, or they're, they're on their way here. They'll be here in 15 minutes. And I said, guys, I, I'm not there. I'm not at the home. I can't deliver. I can't get this right now. Uh, you'll have to give me some time. I, I, I will be there at 12 o'clock, like, like you stated. Um, so he was like, are you sure you don't want this now? And I'm like, I, I, I can't physically be there, guys. There's nothing I can do. He says, okay, hangs up the phone. I didn't think much of it. At 10, 12, um, I got a call back. It's 15 minutes later. Um, it was the other driver because it was a different phone number. Uh, same nine, it was a 954 number like the other one, but it was not the driver, but the, the guy on the passenger seat or, or vice versa. I'm not sure who called me first. But uh, he's now stating to me, hey, we're right here. Do you not want your furniture? And I'm like, no, I, I do want my desk. Um, that's not it at all. All I want is it to be here when you said it was going to be here. I can't physically be there right now. I'm, I'm at my work. Um, so he says to me, um, he was going to have to go across the bridge. And I'm assuming he meant Cape Coral, which is another town by us. It's a, you know, you have to go across the bridge or whatever to do that. I, I said, guys, listen, it's no big deal. If it has to be past 12 or even past three, I don't care. I'm going to be home by 12. So you can come by anytime you want. At that point, it doesn't bother me. Any. So he said, okay. I had a bad feeling of how, what was going on here. So I called customer service immediately after that, a couple of minutes after that phone call. And I talked to a gentleman. I did not get his name, but um, he had told me, oh, well, I was explaining to him what, what is happening. He tried to reach out to the drivers and they wouldn't answer. So I said, okay, well, you know, you can give me a call back when they do answer and tell me what's going on. Um, I took my lunch break around 1.30 in the afternoon that day. And at 1.42, I'd received a call from the customer care unit. Um, the, um, the person's name was Stephanie. And she says to me that she had received a call from one of the drivers and said that my furniture or my desk that I was getting uh, was scratched and that they would have to bring it back. And I said, Phil, that's a little curious. I said, why would they, first off, why would they check my furniture when they're not at my house? I'm here and <laughs> they're not, uh, you know, um, they're uh, obviously, why would they take it out of the package somewhere else that doesn't make any sense she goes well i really don't know why they did that um and i said well do you understand the backstory what's been going on prior she did not know so i went on to explain the entire story that i told you already um and she says well that is a little peculiar you know um and so i said well i tell you what uh even though the desk may have a uh, scratch or a, you know something to it why don't you still have them bring it here I will check it over. If there is an issue with it, we'll we'll exchange it later. 
but at least I'll have a desk to, to work with in the meantime. And she was, she seemed very fine with that. She said, okay, that'll be perfectly fine. We'll tell them to go ahead and still deliver the desk. Okay, no, no problem. Um, and that was at 142. At 245, I was waiting for a, a confirmation call back of some sort. Um, they never received, I never got one. So I called customer care again. They had, I guess they had a backlog of calls coming through that day. And well, basically I put myself in a queue, a, um, a phone queue. So they would call me back. Well, as it turned out, I didn't get a call back until 445 that day, almost two hours later. Uh, it was a woman named Ambria. Uh, she was very kind. I'll give her that. Um, very kind to me over the phone, at least had some sort of empathy to the situation, um, which I was very, at least that, that made me happy <laughs> at least that she could, you know, understand what I was going through that day, which was not a very pleasant day, <laughs> um, that I was going through. Um, I had talked to, uh, her for, I said a better part of 20 minutes or so. Um, she had, she reached out to the driver and then she couldn't get a hold of him. I said, why don't you try this other number that called me as well? She tried that number, couldn't get an answer. She says, you know what? I think they're, they're done for the day. I said, they just completely missed my stop. They just decided not to come back at all. <laughs> and that's when she said, yeah, I'm, that's what it looks like. I said, okay. I said, she asked if I'd like to speak to a manager. I said, yes, let me speak to a manager. I was on hold for a while. Until 5.34 p.m., I received uh, 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 this guy named Ivan got on the call, and he couldn't have been more non-empathetic <laughs> of a person I have ever met in my entire life. I, uh, I, you know, I was in hospitality for uh, 12 years, and I would tell you I would never hire anybody <laughs> who acted in this nature uh, especially in a customer care unit, you know, um, that they're in. So it was, um, it, it was hard to deal with, um, dealing with him because he, he just didn't care. He didn't care that that happened. He basically gave me four options, which was one of them was so demeaning. He was go three hours out of your way, go pick it up and bring it home. <laughs> <laughs> which is <laughs> in, re in, in reality what he was saying to me. Um, I'm trying to think of the name of the place, the city that it's at, but it was about three hours away. Um, and uh, not Weston. I'm trying to think. Well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, he also said I could get a refund for everything. But of course, I already got 80% of the furniture. I was only waiting for the desk and the one end table. And that was it. So I'm like, if I do that now, I'm going to just ruin everything that I've already got. Um, he uh, gave me some other, uh, there were just, there were non-starting issues that were just, I couldn't do anything about. I said, uh, you know, this is ridiculous, guys. You you, you told me you were gonna, it was going to be here. It was not. Um, what are we going to do about it? And he says, well, there's nothing I can do about it. They just didn't deliver. Okay. Thank you, Ivan. You've been no help to me whatsoever. <laughs> um, I hang up the phone. I was upset. I, I decided, okay, I'm going to take it to the next step, which is I'm going to call um, the customer care unit again to see if I can get a hold of them. They did not answer. I said, okay. So I took a night to just sleep on it. <laughs> got up the next day, said, you know what? They, they got to be held accountable for something like this. So I decided to go on to the Better Business Bureau, uh, Consumer Affairs, uh, things of that nature. To try to basically, sh and, I, and I used my phone to show the timeline because I wanted to make sure I had every phone call uh, logged so I knew. And I also made it a point uh, because the customer care unit says that they monitor the, um, the, the calls for, for quality assurance. Um, to timestamp each of those particular calls because I wanted to make sure that they heard the call and how the response was given to me and how my response was to them uh, so that they could understand the whole situation. I wanted them to get a full 24 hours to look into that to see, was I wrong or were they wrong? And, you know, to, to, to figure out what was going on. Um, it wasn't until 
I talked to the better or to I, uh, the Better Business Bureau, sent the response to them that they realized, oh, he must be serious, sent a response back. On that response, I found it very curious. They said the reason that they didn't get it to me, and they had it in parentheses, it said holiday. It was March 16th or whatever the day was. I forgot. There, I mean, there, was, there was no holiday going on. I mean, <laughs> they were going to be delivering it to me that day as it was. They just completely ignored the entire situation that just happened to me. I said, this is ridiculous. So I went on a whole rant again you know, of, of how can you say this to me? You're basically you're, you're fabricating this entire story. I said, this is not what happened. This is what happened line by line. Um, so it was sent to them again. Uh, you guys had uh, sent me a uh, interview link or you said to uh, you'd like to do an interview with me later. And I wanted to uh, wait a little while to see if, if city furniture would would respond in any way, shape, or form of what they were going to do. I finally did get a call the other day from a uh, person from City Furniture. They were going to offer me uh, half of the installation charge off, which they finally did as of last night at 10.36 p.m. Um, they gave me half of that off. That's the only thing they've given to me at this point. But um, at least they've done something <laughs> <laughs> over that situation, but it, it was probably without a doubt one of the worst um, experiences that I've ever had to go through as far as a delivery is concerned. You know, I um, I had to think about that for a little while because I didn't want to, and, and I want to make it very clear that it was not the people of the showroom that were my problem. They have been nothing but helpful to me, um, helping me as far as my decor, what I wanted, with the style I was looking for. They were trying to you know, hit me into the right direction. They were never pushy. They were uh, never in my face. Um, I would ask questions. They would answer them for me. They would help me out. They were fantastic. It's just the other side of it that has been the biggest issue, which was the customer care and the delivery. It's important for people to understand that these are, <laughs> that they may be separate entities all within one uh, conglomerate. And, and it's unfortunate that I can't separate them as they are. Um, I don't know if City Furniture uses a, um, uh, a, a another service to do this. I know they're City Furniture trucks, but I don't know if it's a, um, a separate service that does the delivery. It may be. I have no idea. Um, so if that were the case, then City Furniture needs to know um, what it is that they have going on as far as their drivers are concerned. For them to basically go rogue and say, I'm not going to deliver it because he wasn't home when I wanted it to be there. You can't do that. Um, you know, I spent $10,000 with the company. And I mean, that may be not a lot of money for some people. That's a lot of money for me um, and a lot of other people. So I want to make it clear that, you know, hey, you can't get away with this. Um, you can't do that. You got to be held accountable uh, for, for those kind of actions. Um, I didn't want anybody to get fired. That's not my purpose in life. I don't look for anybody to get in trouble in that regard, but they do need to be held accountable for that because if they make it a habit, well, then they do need to be let go. And, and, and somebody needs to be aware of that. And unless somebody says something, you know, city furniture would never know. 